Hello again, it's Jess or Jashi Curran and welcome back for another weekly plan with me video. In today's video, I'm going to be setting up for week 14, 2019, which is April 1st through to the 7th. But before we get into that, as per usual, we're just going to have a look at how this week is going. So as you'll remember from my last weekly plan with me, for this week I was really just looking for one big running to-do list, because I was finding that separating my tasks out into daily boxes wasn't really working. Overall, I've actually really been enjoying using this layout, although I will say that when I went to go and fill out my tasks to do on Sunday night, I'd already filled up all of this page and started on this one. That was a little bit daunting to look at, just knowing how much I had to get done, but it has given me a good overview of the amount of things I do need to get done and the amount of time I actually have to do it. As was intended, this has actually been able to show me when I've scheduled too many tasks for one day. So for instance, on Monday I scheduled myself to do the Year 8 moderation, and you can see that I did start that task, but I wasn't actually able to get it done with the other things that I had on. The same goes for the Year 12 marking, which I did actually finish today, so I can cross that out now. So although in my previous weekly spreads, this would have been crossed off on the day that I'd scheduled to do it, this layout actually lets me see when I scheduled it and when I actually got the task done. You can see that another instance like this one was my physics slides for equilibrium. These were intended to be done yesterday, but didn't actually happen and I have started them today. For next week, because in April I'm going to be finishing off term one, going into holiday mode, and then coming back to school at the end of the month, I've decided that I want to try and keep my daily slash weekly spreads as consistent as possible. For this reason, I've decided that I'm going to be doing another Dutch door style layout, similar to the one that I used in November, but with a little bit less line ruling. So if we turn over to there now. If you've seen my April plan with me video, you wouldn't actually have seen me set this page up, it was one I decided that I wanted to put in after I'd already done my videoing. So this is going to be a space to write down any memories that I make during the month of April. So after this is where we jump into the Dutch doors. You can see I have actually already cut these out, and that was just done by cutting off seven columns worth of squares from the sides, but making sure that I left enough space to do these little tabs. If you wanted a bit more detail on how to make these ones, I have actually released a video on how to make Dutch doors, and there's a link to that one in the cards above. Before I hand you guys off to the time lapse, just a reminder that any of the equipment I use in today's setup is linked in the description box below. To start off with, I'm going in with my green coloured Statler Triplus Fineliner to put in the initial for each of my titles and the dividing lines on the first two pages. These dividers are one of my favourites to draw, because they're really simple. All you have to do is alternate between a line connecting one dot to another, and then drawing a small dot between where you ended that line and the start of the next one. You'll likely have seen me use it quite a few times, because although it's an easy one to do, it's still really visually effective. After this line work, in the section down the bottom, I'm writing out breakfast, lunch, dinner, snacks, and H2O. This section is replacing my monthly meal log, just as I've been finding it hard to keep myself motivated to actually flick back and fill it in when it's been a separate spread. To fill in the numbers for the mini calendar on the left, I'm just using my Faber-Castell Pit Artist Pen in the S size. I'd also like to say thank you to those of you who voted on my poll regarding the style of my weekly plan with me voiceovers. From the results, you guys seem pretty evenly split between either wanting more conversational style voiceovers or more of a description of what I'm doing. A decent majority, however, voted for no preference slash both, and in hindsight I probably should have given that as two separate options. All the same, thank you guys for your input, I'm always really keen to hear what you guys think, and I want to make sure that I'm striking the right balance between the content I want to create and the content that you guys want to see. Back to the spread, here I'm just continuing with that green line work that I had on the first two pages. On each of my daily pages, running from top to bottom, I've got space for the header, my top three intentions for the day, my to-do list, three successes I had for that day, and then the meal logging section I mentioned before. This is similar to what I had in November of last year when I was doing my one month in my bullet journal series, but I've left out the challenges section here. 
Rather than having that section, my intention at this stage is to use that top three tasks part of the following day's layout to address any challenges that I had. So for instance, if one of my challenges would have been that I was feeling dehydrated that day, I'll make sure that on my top three priorities for the next day, I've put them down, get your two liters. I'm pretty excited to get back to this style of layout because I found it really helpful last year. I'm hoping that I'll be able to make it work in a similar way during April as well. To finish off the spread, I'm just going through and writing down breakfast, lunch, dinner, snacks, and H2O on each of the pages, as well as drawing out those little black outlines in those top boxes for the headers. This was the style of header that I used in my January setup, and I did a mini tutorial on those as part of my January plan with me video. In general, all it involves is sketching out a box for your header in pencil, and then loosely coloring over it with a Tombow jewel brush marker, making sure to go outside the lines in some places, and not coloring the box in fully. After that, any of the lines from the original penciled in box that aren't covered by the Tombow, you go over with in pen. Alrighty, and that's where we're going to leave it for today. So as you can see, we have a space for each day of next week. And on each of those pages, we have a space for my top three intentions for the day, my to-do list, my three successes, and then my meal log. As I mentioned, I am excited to get back to this style of weekly logging, and I'm hoping that it will keep me motivated as we see out Term 1, productive over the holidays, and hit the ground running in Term 2. Thank you for watching. If you liked today's setup, please do make sure to give it a big thumbs up. And if you had any thoughts, comments or feels, please do leave them in the comments section below. I'll be back again on Sunday with a video about my new collections bullet journal. And so until next time, bye!